Jeff Solo. 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 Jeff Sorry, it's been a wee while. Um, I've had a bit of a pretty busy couple of months, to be honest, since the beginning of the year. I uh, had a bit of a bereavement in the family, which is a bit of a bummer. Uh, but I'm all good now. Uh, well, as well as I can be. Anyway, uh, not to start on a downer, because that's a bit shit. Uh, let's get cracked into the first boot sale of 2018 for myself. Um, went this morning. Uh, the weather was okay. Uh, but when we got there there wasn't many sellers and the guy I buy a lot of toys from wasn't there either uh, Rumours are that he's packed it in. He's quite an old guy, so that's not great because I used to pick up a lot of cool shit from him um, There's another lady there that sells toys and uh, I'm not keen on her at all to be honest <laughs> I don't like her um, She's a bit she's one of these people that tells you about the stuff you want to buy You know what I mean? You pick something up and she'll give you a backstory I'm not really caring about that. I just, you know, if I think it's cool, I'll pick it up. I don't need a backstory. I pretty much know where most of the toys, like what, who, who makes them and whatnot, because it's written on them. You know, I don't, and I know anyway, just due to experience. Uh, but she's like, oh yeah, that's a fucking Ken of this, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I know, great. And then she's like, oh, it's expensive on the internet. That old chestnut. But anyway, I digress. Um, picked up a few bits, but before I show you my car boot haul. I picked up a Black Series figure the other day, and it is Princess Leia. Um, unfortunately, her eyes are a bit fucking pissed. Uh, check out the wee eyes on that one. Oh dear. I, I, the video is not really doing it justice, but just uh, believe me, they're a bit kind of boo across eyed. But uh, not to worry. It's all good. Um, so yeah, snuffled that one up. That was £13 from the entertainer, so it's pretty cool. I've got this figure uh, on the 40th anniversary line, card backs, uh, but I'm not opening that one. Um, so I wanted one I could open because I've started to actually not open my Black Series figures and keep them in the boxes. I just think they look cooler in them. Um, but this one I'm definitely going to crack open. So. Uh, yes, car boot, car boot, car boot, car boot. A um, couple of Blu-rays, first of all. Um, I got a Xbox One for Crimbo, so I now have a Blu-ray player for the first time in my life. So I've been uh, buying the titles that my favourite films basically on Blu-ray. I'm not bothering buying fillers, just the ones I really, really enjoyed and really, really enjoy and I want to watch again. Uh, I'm not just going to fill my, my Blu-ray collection up with just crap because I've got millions of DVDs. I don't know what I'm going to do with them all, but uh, they're all up in the loft, I've got to get rid of them. Uh, but Blu-ray's so much better. But anyway, I picked up this one. Uh, it's Inception. It's got that kind of cool moving sleeve thing going on. Uh, this was two bucks, uh, two pounds, which I thought was pretty awesome. It's the Blu-ray, DVD and digital copy. So yeah, I thought it was a steal for two quid, three discs. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, so did I say three quid? Two quid, two quid. I paid two quid for it. So there you go. Three discs, two quid. <laughs> so yeah, thought it was pretty awesome. I picked that up, and I also picked up uh, this one, uh, Twenty One Jump Street. It's really, really funny. Um, the original. It's, I remember watching the original Twenty One Jump Street. So uh, this is it's a funny film, um, and Channing Tatum in it is actually he's spot on to be honest. Uh, I, the second one's not as good to be fair. Uh, but yeah, really stoked to pick that up. Two pound, can't complain. Uh, Blu-rays seem to be quite the thing at my car boot. I can pick up Blu-rays till the cows come home. Two pound a Blu-ray, you can't go wrong. All the just discs are in discs. All the discs, all the discs are in pocket condition. So uh, stoked, stoked for that. So yeah, there were a couple of Blu-rays. I'm doing this thing where I'm not looking at the camera again. It's hard when you do it on your phone. The camera, the actual camera is over there. Uh, so it's hard. It's hard, man. Uh, right. So figures, picked up a few. All from this lady, bar one, I think. And I'll show you the one I got from another dealer. Not really any car booters at the car boot today. More just dealers, to be honest. Um, but I picked up this chap. A wee Raphael from the... I think it's the third movie. Pretty sweet. I like it. 
Uh, it comes with its hat, which is cool. But it's only missing one of its kind of knee pads, which is which is fine, you know. But I paid a pound for him. So he's worth a pound all day long, in my opinion. So I was pretty stoked to have him. So that's cool. Good start. Uh, then I picked up, these were all a pound each from this lady. Um, quite a few of them are battered. But with a bit of a clean, they might be okay. Um, so first up, picked up this kind of massive Power Ranger. The Blue Ranger. He was a quid. Um, quite a bit. It's got that kind of power action. I think they, these are the ones released kind of later on. Because they released these kind of... I don't know how tall these are, seven inches. Uh, they released these when they didn't have actions, and uh, and then after that, they released the ones with actions. And then this is 1994, so yeah. Uh, he's got his belt holster thing for his gun. He's bad, really bad scuffing on his chest, unfortunately. But a clean, he might look okay. Bit of yellowing as well. Uh, but for a quid, I wasn't going to leave it behind, eh? So not bad. So I got him. I got a, of course I picked up a thing, because you have to, it's the law. Uh, unfortunately it's the one that looks like he's taking a shit. Um, he's obviously the one that goes on the motorbike, and I've already got him. So, but you never have too many things, eh? So there's another thing, on the motorbike riding thing, pretty cool. Uh, and also got this rhino chap, he's from... Uh, 2006 kind of animated rhino I've had this guy a few times actually um, but yeah he's pretty cool so yeah not bad for a pound um, now I also got this guy for a pound Cyclops I think this is a Marvel Select if I'm not too mistaken um, I don't know if someone's had a go kind of customising him they painted his hands, or maybe his hands are supposed to be kind of that dirty yellow. I'm not sure. I don't know. Um, but he is he's really well detailed. And I can I'm almost convinced this is a Marvel Select, but somebody else can tell me. Um, but anyway, that's uh, Cyclops. Pretty cool. He's from I'll tell you what date he is. I can find on his leg. There you go. 2000, 2005. Oh, looking over here again. 2005. Sorry guys. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> uh, what else do we get? More superheroes, picked up Martian Manhunter from, I think this is Batman Brave and the Bold, so it was awesome. Uh, also picked up Mr. Freeze from the original uh, Batman animated series. Dr. Freeze, Mr. Freeze, I don't know, one or the other. I don't know, yeah, I think he's a doctor. I'll go for doctor. Uh, picked up this kind of crazy looking Toy Biz, uh, he's got something attached to him. Toy Biz Wolverine with a kind of a spaceman suit on. I'm not sure what the crack is with that. It's pretty awesome. He's got this kind of retractable claws, as, as Toy Biz used to do constantly. <laughs> uh, but yeah, pretty awesome. Pound. This is where this is where it gets a bit annoying, to be honest. <laughs> so I paid a pound for this chap, which is the chap may I can never I can't remember the line. It's like this sort of totem thing still works. I forget the line, but uh, they're, they're not the easiest things to find. There's a lot of knockoffs about. I've actually got a knockoff one. Um, but the actual characters themselves, they're not as readily available as some. They're not rare, but they're not really super accessible. So I picked this guy up for a quid. I then picked up uh, William Dafoe, Hobgoblin or Green Goblin, from the... Um, original spider-man movie it's pretty awesome uh, and i also picked up this spider-man who's like kind of battle damaged spider-man uh yeah he's pretty cool he was a quid as well that's pretty awesome i think this is the kind of toby Maguire era again um a little bit chewed on the feet a little bit not too bad uh and these fingers some of them have just i don't know if you can pick this up on camera but let's try and zoom in a bit we zoom in. Is it going to work? Not really. Oh, there's another. Sp and I picked up that Spider Man as well for a pound. Not worth a pound at all. Don't know why I paid that for that. But anyway, this guy's fingers. It's not. It's not easily to easy to see. But uh, yeah, it's kind of. I kind of chipped. I chipped a little bit. Nothing too major. Uh, but yeah, and it, oh, I've just noticed his nose is a bit. Fuckoed. 
so maybe not worth a quid. It's worth a quid all day long, eh? So that's all right. So a pound for him. Uh, and then my best, my best three picks of the day. Uh, I'll show you them the new. Now one of them, I didn't pay a pound for these. They were different. It was this was this one was the, one of them. <laughs> this one was one of them. I can't even talk. This one was one of them. This was two pound. Um, it's obviously an alien figure. Uh, it's in really nice condition. Really nice condition. Um, looks almost brand new. No, there's no marks or rubs or anything. A little bit, well, actually, I say that's a little bit on the teeth, but hardly anything. It's in pretty pucker condition. Tail's still on. He was two quid. Thought that's that's not bad. A bull, alien bull, maybe. I can't remember. I'm not very good at the names of the aliens, man. Uh, and then the last two bits. They're in a bag for four quid. And uh, I walked away at first because I was like, oh, I don't really need them. <laughs> like I need any of them, <laughs> but I don't really need them today type thing. Uh, and I wanted to see what else it was about and there was nothing else. So I came back and she wanted four pound for these two figures I'm about to show you. And I was like, nah, so we take three. And she was like, yeah, sure. Seeing as it's you, oh, fucking, I've never bought anything off her in my puff uh, until today. Uh, and then she goes, um, oh, did you Google them? Did you? I'm like, what? I said, no, no, I just wanted to see what else it was about. And I was like, why am I explaining myself to you? <laughs> Here's the three quid. Now, fuck off. <laughs> but anyway, it was these Terminator figures. So I got this guy. The main reason I wanted these is because I wanted this arm. Because I have all the other arms bar that one. Uh, and this figure's in really nice condition as well. It's a wee bit of wear on the bullets on the back there, but on the shells, sorry. But he's in absolute pucker condition. So I was pretty stoked to get him with his claw arm. Now he was in the bag with this guy, um, his head's falling off, now he's got the, the head that pops off, but this arm isn't his, this arm was on him, but it's not his arm, it's actually that guy's arm, so um, yeah, I got another one of these arms, but I'm still looking for his arm now, the search goes on, <laughs> so yeah, I got these two chaps, so I was pretty stoked with them, and in the bag with these two chaps was uh, this weapon, so that was pretty cool. So yeah, not bad. I three quid, one pound fifty each, and I got the claw hand and this weapon as well. So not bad. So there you go, folks. Uh, that was just a quick one, just to show you my pickups today. Uh, it wasn't it wasn't too bad, you know. I think I spent about twenty quid or something, so that's not too bad, I suppose. Not too bad. Um, I won't be going to the car boot now for a while because I was speaking to some of the guys that go there quite a bit, and ugh, it's not worth going till sort of mid March. Um, I won't be going next week. Uh, so you'll probably get another car boot video from me in March. Hopefully if I find anything, I can't guarantee it. Um, but I have loads of uh, stuff going on in the toy room. I've just got a new uh, case. So I've now got three of those Ditto cabinets that on that side and two on that side. Um, I've also got some new lighting, which I'm going to show you in an upcoming video. Really cool. Um, basically, they're like puck lights. Um, you can get them online battery powered um, and you can switch them on and off with a remote fantastic um, so yeah I'll be showing you those uh, showing my new displays going down the route of doing a lot more vintage toys uh, I'm gonna be selling a lot of my modern-esque toys and I'm gonna be going down the route of my childhood toys just fancy a change um, they're the things that really give me the most pleasure so although I do appreciate the sculpts of all the new stuff I'll be keeping my hot toys obviously and uh, some of my NECA figures, but a lot of the sort of Marvel Selects, Marvel Legends type stuff that'll be going. Um, I'm still pondering about my Lego, although I do love it. It's not very neat. <laughs> um, but I've condensed all my minifigures into cases now uh, and pretty much packed away all the sort of spaceships and that that I had for the Star Wars. So we'll have to see. Anyway, I'm just waffling shite now. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for subscribing. It means the world to me. Um, I really, uh, I really, really appreciate it. And um, I hope you guys continue to watch. Or not. <laughs> I hope you do. Uh, for the upcoming videos in the new year. So, cheers guys. Take care. See ya.